Hi guys, Debbie here. Um, I'm coming at you with a collaboration. I am taking part on the collaboration hosted by Crafty Lini, co-host by Anthony Decoray and Sandy Lumber Mills. Guys, this is a tribute to Lini's sister and to all those warriors that have been fighting with breast cancer. Guys, just to let you know, Sandy Lumber Mill is one of the lucky survivors and this is an annual collaboration um, hosted by Crafty Lini. It's called the Shine Pink Collaboration. It's for today at 7 p.m. and the host is Crafty Lini, co-host decorating Antoinette from Ant's Place and co-host by Sandy Lumber Mills. Those two are the co-hosts. These two beautiful ladies are the co-hosts. This is an honor of Gloria, Lenny's sister, and all the beautiful warriors. Guys, I want to let you know that not just females are suffering with breast cancer. As statistics say, that also men has a uh, fight and a lot of them have lost their life to breast cancer. Um, I urge you guys to... Um, go to your annual checkups and also to learn know how to check yourself at home like that you know and you know your body and you know if you have you feel something different guys i am taking part in this collaboration to honor all those beautiful fighter warriors out there and also to all their families because they don't go through this alone. One, one person have to go through this, basically the whole family feels it. And I know, I know. Um, I also dedicate this table to my sister and my mom. Um, and um, yeah guys, this is touch close to my heart because I have lost some friends to this disease um guys um i also i'm out of words really i am out of words um this is hard this is hard and no matter years could go by and it's still come refreshing your mind but guys um yeah i'm taking part in this collaboration so far i finished my flower my flower arrangement and um I already have started. I showed you the before of my table, but um, yeah, my video decided to go and get messed up. But anyways, at least I didn't finish. So guys, and remember, this is an honor collaboration and it's open to all the YouTubers out there. And the rules are um, subscribe to the host and the co-host's channel and also watch the playlist and tell us what did you guys think about. So guys, um, this is my progress after I took my previous table down and I'm going to come at you with some more progress. Yeah, guys, I'm going to come at you with some more, with some more progress. Oh, and I also want to thank you, Lini. And this is close to my heart, sister. Well, guys, this is my progress. A little bit of progress. Um, as you guys can see, we're still not done. I still got more things to put in this table. Um, I'll explain the way I, I usually put the glasses together, but this time I decided to put one on the right and one on the left. One is for wine or water or chew or juice or whatever you choose to drink is your choice. Um, I'm using my uh, pink plates. I decided to keep my rose gold in my white square plates and I'm using double napkins so this is just a little bit and I'm gonna come at you with a little bit of more progress sorry guys here's a little bit of more progress I put my rose garland I put my candles up um i use different methods to put my candles i'm using my crystal 
25% lead crystal candle holders. Um, and the other ones that will tell you what it is as soon as I'm done with the table that I will take you guys all the way around. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm gonna share a poem. It's not my poem. It's from Al Alethan McCollin and it goes like this. Awareness Month. It started with she and was written in 2013. She stands at the kitchen sink, letting the water fall, fall softly, Gently, as she moves her hands across cups, plates, spoons, forks, and knives. Her song filling the air as she sings along. Wasn't it funny, she thought, how things change, how life changes, and in an instant of emotional and physical upheaval, everything comes into focus. You are forced to read prioritize, to reconsider all those things you thought were important. She sings, I will survive, hey, hey. She looks down at her altered self, hey, hey. Water falls, I will survive. When she was young and breasts began to form, she was so happy. And later she, as teenager and young woman, saw them blossom. She felt a sense of power. Oh yes, she is a woman. These were, are the signs of womanhood. Then later still, they would provide the nourishment that each of her babies would crave. She. And still, her greatest sign of femininity was there. They were there. So when the doctor said breast cancer, the words seem alien, unreal, like a something that should not be said to her, at least not to her. So the words just hung there, suspended in the air. She, she'd have to hold these words, take control, of these words, fight these words, she. She called on her father God because these words were a burden too heavy for her to carry. Hey, she, who'd seen strong enough for just about everything that had come her way before now seemed small. God, she prayed, help me. And this would be her prayer over and over again through dark days of sickness, needles filled with the life, poison, poison, life, radiation, weakness, body morphing into something else. God, help me. And then when she said, take them, it wasn't so scary. She would survive. She knew it. She would survive this. As big and bad as it was, she would survive. God helps. She knew it. She believed it. And now, today, she sings. Hey, hey. Oh, Lord. And that's the Breast Cancer Awareness, one of the many poems. And guys, I dedicate this table, like I said, to Gloria. She might have not survived, but yes, she has survived in her family's heart. And right now, she's an angel looking over them. And let me talk you guys through my table. All the seating are the same, except with the napkins. Two of them has white flowers. Two of them have white flowers, and the other two has pink flowers. 
So I using my white napkins with these white flowers. I don't know what they call carnation. No, they're not carnation. I can't remember what they are, but they are flowers. Um, my napkin. I'm using my crystal plate. Just regular crystal plate. I'm using this beautiful pink, light pink with some flowers on them. I choose this place because of the um, pink, light pink color. And these ones are Luminar. Yep. And of course, I'm using my Better Home and Garden plate, my rose gold charger, and my, it, it's like a type of um, beige color. I'm using my crystal glass and my um, um, crack and barrel glass. And of course, I'm using my silver wear. And guys, I have my flowers in the center, my rose flowers in the center, my garland. I also have the little ones in the middle. And yes, I'm using my crystal um, candle holders. And underneath, I have a wine glass. And inside that wine glass, I have a pink rose blinking light. Those are from Dollar Tree. Everybody knows that. And then here, this, um, you find this at the Dollar Tree. They're beautiful, guys. They look like glass. So you could fit one of the long candles there, the temper candles. You could fit them there. So you could use them as candle holders. So that's what I decided to do for this one. Guys, that's my table. And like I say, I dedicate this table to all the warriors out there and those that are still fighting and their family, not just them, their family also. And thank you ladies for hosting this collaboration. Um, like I said, this, this touch close to my heart because also men do have, um, they get breast cancer, or statistic is that 30 to 40% of them also get breast cancer. Guys, thank you. And like I always say, take care, be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Overall, stay safe. And God bless you. And remember, God loves you, and I love you too. Bye-bye. It will be into the next one.